Ah, oatmeal bars. There are so many varieties, flavors, chewy, crisp, all kinds of things in the grocery store. But what I like about them is how convenient and grab and go they are. So we're going to make our own. Hey, Cookaholic Chef Kendra here. And today I'm going to show you, that's right, you, how to make no-bake oatmeal bars. These are my go-to bars when I'm in a hurry and running out the door or just a satisfying afternoon snack. There's no baking, but there is a little cooking, but that's no big deal because while we're here, right? This recipe makes six bars, comes together quickly. We're going to be using instant oatmeal, butter, peanut butter, semi-sweet chocolate chips in this. Oh yeah, and some brown sugar. We're going to need a low pan, some foil. If you're so inclined, you can toss some raisins in there. All right, let's you and I make it happen. Okay, we're going to start out by getting some butter in our medium sized pot. And we're gonna add our brown sugar to this. We're gonna grab our trusty spatula and stir this all around. Now what we wanna do here is melt the butter and dissolve the sugar into the butter. And it should start to come up just to a slight boil. But the most important thing is getting the sugar dissolved. Next thing we're going to do, guys, is get our vanilla extract in here and our sea salt. You don't have to use sea salt. You can just use table salt. That's all good. And we're going to add our instant oatmeal. We're going to stir this up, and we're going to get all the oatmeal incorporated into the butter and the brown sugar. And then we're going to let it cook while we kind of stir it up for about four minutes. Once it's done... It'll look like this, and we got some foil in a loaf pan. We split that oatmeal mixture in half, and we sprayed our aluminum foil with some a light coat of vegetable oil. Now we're going to get half our oatmeal mixture in the pan and flatten it out with a spoon. The next thing we're going to do is get our semi-sweet chocolate chips and our peanut butter. I'm going to mix them together a little bit into the microwave and we're going to melt the peanut butter and the chocolate together. We're going to let it go for 30 seconds, stir it up until it's nice and smooth. We might have to put it back in the microwave for a little bit. Then we're going to take some of the chocolate out and I'm going to take a little taste and the rest of the chocolate and peanut butter mixture goes over the top of that first layer of oatmeal mixture. Just drizzle that chocolate and peanut butter on. Now how can that possibly be bad? This is delicious. Peanut butter and chocolate melted together is delicious. Now we're gonna get the other half of that oatmeal mixture on top, flatten it. Now here we have a plastic zip top bag that we cut a little snip off of and we're going to take that chocolate that we saved and we're going to get it in there and we're going to drizzle it over the oatmeal bars. Now you can do this in any pattern you want. I didn't do anything. I just went, just made up a little pattern. Look at that chocolate go down. What I like about these bars is they are super easy. You don't have to heat up the kitchen to do it. I have to jack up the heat on the oven. So then we cover it in some plastic wrap and we put it in the refrigerator and we're gonna let it chill in the refrigerator for four hours to set up. And this is what I call a brick. We have our brick here and I pull it out and it comes up from the aluminum foil pretty easy. Remember, we sprayed it lightly with vegetable oil. Now, I'm just cutting it into six portions. I cut it down the center, and then basically, I bought the rest of it. Now, if you want to be OCD about it, you can cut off a little bit on either side of the edge to get straight edges.
I have the bar here and I'm gonna give it a little taste. Now, here's what it looks like in the front. The side. I'm just gonna give it a little taste right now. Guys, it's chewy, but not too chewy. It holds, it holds itself together well where it just doesn't break all apart when you bite it. Now, it's not overly sweet. You can taste that hint of peanut butter, but it's not overwhelmed with peanut butter. You can taste that nice chocolate. Yeah, this is good. I really like this. I do eat them often. It's not like the first time I've ever tasted it, but I love these in the morning. And it has a lot of holding power. It keeps you full for quite some time. All right, I'm going to finish this bar. <laughs>